So it starts at the plantar surface of the foot and then it goes into the plantar fascia and the short toe flexors. It goes into the calcaneus, the Achilles tendon, the gastrocnemius, and then it attaches into the condyles of the femur. From the condyles of the femur, it starts to run up the hamstrings group. From the hamstrings, it touches the ischial tuberosity, the sacrotuberous ligament, the... Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I've got another book review for you guys. And today I'm going to be reviewing the book Anatomy Trains by Thomas Myers. In my 18 years as a coach, this is easily one of the best 18 books that I have read. And if you are a strength coach, a personal trainer, a manual therapist, or an anatomy enthusiast, I would highly encourage you to pick up a copy of this book. Ever since reading it, it completely changed the way I looked at the human body. And we're going to get into what exactly you can find inside, but first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. Now, let's take a look at what exactly you could find inside of this book. The first thing is you are going to learn about the anatomy and physiology of fascia. And fascia, it is basically the connective tissue that holds us together and keeps us intact. It attaches your muscles, bones, tendons, ligaments, organs, and holds everything in place. And if you are interested in learning more about anatomy, I have an anatomy lecture series playlist that you could find right up over here. And at the time of filming, there's 345 videos in that playlist. Once you learn about anatomy and physiology of fascia, then every single one of the lines, there are seven of them, you are going to learn a few things about them. And the seven main lines, they can be broken down into 12 separate sublines. With regard to the seven main lines, you have the superficial back line, the superficial front line, the lateral line, the spiral line, and then the arm lines, there are four distinct lines. We have the deep front arm line, the superficial front arm line, the deep back arm line, and the superficial back arm line. Then we also have the functional lines. For the functional lines, there are three of them. There's going to be the back functional line, the front functional line, and the ipsilateral functional line. And then lastly, we have the deep front line. Then once we actually get into the different lines themselves, every single line, there's going to be a diagram and an overview of what exactly that line entails, how it functions, how you could stretch it. And with regard to one of the things you are going to be discussing the postural function of the different lines. If you are interested in learning about postural assessments, by the way, you can check out this video right up over here. But with regard to the postural function and all of the different things that I'm going to be discussing moving from this point forward, I'm going to be using the superficial back line as a reference. So if we look at the postural function of the superficial back line it basically supports the body in full upright extension and it prevents the, bo the body from curling into flexion in the, that fetal position and it works synergistically with the superficial front line so the the front line and the back line they work together to keep us in that nice upright posture and then with regard to the actual movement function of the superficial back line from the knees down it is going to be responsible for flexion so it flexes the knees and it plantar flexes the ankle and then from the hips up it is going to be responsible for extension and hyper extension it extends the hips the lumbar spine the thoracic spine and the cervical spine and if you are interested in learning a little bit more about exercises and how to train these different lines i have an exercise series playlist you can check out right up over here there are 327 videos so definitely be sure to check that out especially if you are a manual therapist now Another one of the great things about this book is for each of the lines, there is going to be a chart and that chart, it's going to tell you the different myofascial tracks and the bony stations. With regard to the superficial back line, it starts at the plantar surface of the toe. So that's going to be the plantar surface, the base of the foot, the bottom part, not the top. The top would be the dorsal surface. So it starts at the plantar surface of the foot and then it goes into the plantar fascia and the short toe flexors. It goes into the calcaneus, the Achilles tendon, the gastrocnemius, and then it attaches into the condyles of the femur. From the condyles of the femur, it starts to run up the hamstrings group. From the hamstrings, it touches the ischial tuberosity, the sacrotuberous ligament, the sacrum, the, sacro, the sacrolumbar fascia, and then it goes into the erector spinae group. Then from the erector spinae group, it is going to insert into the occipital ridge, the gallia aponeurotica, the epicranial fascia, the fascia, the frontal bone, and the supraorbital ridge. So that is basically the track for the superficial back line. And then once you've learned all of that, one of the other great things about this book is you are going to learn how to stretch these different fascial lines. With regard to the overall stretches, if you wanted to do the stretches, there are ways that you could stretch them globally or overall stretches where you stretch the entire fascial line all in one shot. And then there are specific stretches. So let's say you just want to focus on the superficial back line, but you want to stretch it more at the ankle or more at the knee or more at the hip. You could focus on specific areas of that particular stretch. So if you wanted to stretch the superficial back line in its entirety, 
What you could do is pop your feet right up over your head, and then that would be a great way to stretch the superficial back line. You could also sit down, go ahead and do a forward bend, try to touch your toes. That would be another global stretch for the superficial back line. If you wanted to isolate specific areas, let's say you wanted to isolate the distal end near the calcaneus, so you want to stretch close to the calf, what you would do is you would go into as much dorsiflexion as possible, so you would put your foot on the ground and then you would drive your knee forward. That way you can localize the stretch to the actual ankle itself. And it goes through that for all of the different joints. And if you are interested in learning more about stretching, you can check out this stretches series playlist that I have right up over here. At the time of filming, there's 123 videos in that stretching playlist. But those are just a couple of the stretches that you will learn about in this book. And then one of the things, this is gonna be really great if you are a manual therapist, is you are going to learn how exactly you can pal palpate the different fascial lines. So if you are a massage therapy student, acupuncture student, chiropractic student, any type of manual therapy, it would really, really benefit you to pick up a copy of this book. I love it. And then next week, next Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m., I'm going to be reviewing a course. It's one of the best 18 courses that I've done in my 18 years as a coach. And it is from Anatomy Trains and Thomas Myers. And that is going to be the fascial dissection course. So if you are really interested in learning more about anatomy, or if here is just something that is of interest to you and you don't really do it as a profession, definitely check out that review next week because it's a great course and we're going to get into that next week but that's pretty much it for today's video if you have any questions go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so i can help you guys out but that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button so new to keep making these types of videos in the future and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as i'm going to be uploading new videos every single day that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow